Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is, if this is new here, welcome. Today, I'm, before I'm going to be talking about the goodness that I have, today I'm going to be talking about the stats of my coming college stats of how I get into FSU, which is Fayetteville State University. So you guys know, once you know the, that already, and some of you don't, so it's okay. So today I'm going to be talking about my background, my demographics, my stats, my clubs, my extracurriculars, and everything that you guys needed to know so today i i realized that some of you guys might know about my stats because i'm gonna be that's why i'm gonna be posting this video so remember that whatever works for you might not work for me just like whatever works for me might not work for you either remember that if you guys have a hard time comparing yourself to others i recommend you guys not to watch this video because it wouldn't be important to you remember that like always remember that Always gotta remember that stats are not everything. They're important, but they're not the most important. Remember that the experiences and skills is more important than the stats. That's all you guys gotta know. So this is not for me to brag. It's for me to show you how I get into Fayetteville State University with my thesis stats. So without further ado, let's begin. I'll be talking about my background. My name is Andres. I was born in upstate of New York, which is Buffalo. I lived there until I was five. I traveled all over the states due to my this job in the military service. He's second to my stepdad, but he is my real dad because I grew up with him. He, I grew up with my Puerto Rican family on my mom's side and my Colombian family and my dad's side, which is technically my step family, but they're my real family because I grew up with them. So those of you guys, I think most of you guys will know this already, and some of you don't, so it's okay. That's what we were here to learn. It's, it was only by when I visited them in person, so remember that. Keep that in mind. Because I grew up all over the States because of the military orders of my dad. Remember that to keep that in mind. Because I just talked about this in my old thoughts before. I have become an author this past November of 2023. So my it is on Amazon, so you guys can buy it at any time if you guys haven't bought it. So you guys check that out. This is my second semester at Fayetteville State University, so you guys can know if you could just you new. So most of you might know that, and some of you don't, so it's okay. It's just you new here. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I will not be graduating from Fayetteville State because. We're going to be here for a year and a half, so we're not going to be here in North Carolina for too long. So I'm going to be at Fayetteville State for two years. Remember that. I'm not going to be graduating from Fayetteville State. I probably might be graduating in a different state. Remember that to keep that in mind. So next, I'm going to move on to stats. So my college GPA for Malaysia College is a 3.21 as a B average. My major is... Communication and Media Studies from Fayetteville State University. However, my other GPA from Fayetteville State is a 3.5, so I did better on my grades, thank God. So my grades from Valencia College were mostly A's and B's with C's, so that's why I had a 3.21 GPA for my overall, the one I did from other colleges. So keep that in mind because I've been to three different colleges, so which is I've been to the one in Georgia, I've been to the one in Maryland, and I've been to the one in Florida. So Florida is where I got my associate's degree most likely. So keep that in mind. It took me six years to complete my associate's degree. So hope you guys keep that in mind. Most of you might know that and some of you don't, so it's okay. My minor used to be creative and professional writing. However, my minor just switched to theater this past month so it's going to be in this coming fall semester as i said before my grades are from the college are a's b's with c's so keep that in mind last semester at Fayetteville state university i had one a and one b so i did better from Fayetteville state university and thank god i started to take my seriously in my assignments it's a part of myself so moving on to clubs. For my clubs is that I was in Latin American Student Organizational 
which is I have a stone for being part of the club. I have Phi Beta Limba, which is a quarter of a business club. So I just got that from this past spring semester of last year. And I was in math club from Community College in Maryland, so I was Mo Theta Alpha, and I received a certificate from Spring 2018 for doing all my grades from high school. So that's all for my stats and extracurriculars for the clubs. So if those do I miss do I miss one? Yeah, I missed one. My bad. Sorry. I lost. For my honor from moving on to my honors awards. For my honors and awards is that I was in the Dean's four times in a row, which is from 2021 to 2023. I should take more serious in my assignments to, be, during the pandemic. So I, I, I received in Pell Grant from 2022 to 2023 for getting good grades from 2021 to 2022, which is from Blazing College. It was during the pandemic. And I received an program from 2023 to 2024, which is I received good grades from the college from my last two years. And it was in Fayetteville State University that I was in Pell Grant that I got accepted from Fayetteville State University. And for my volunteer experiences is that I was in Valencia Volunteer from 2020, spring 2020 to spring 2023 and asked questions that is needed. I was in student development from fall 2021 to fall to spring 2023 and asked questions as needed too. And for my professional experiences is that I was a household from t July 2019 to present as a secretary and I was in household as a landscaper from July 2019 as present for secretary too. Uh, those are sh job shadows. So That's all I'm going to share for you guys that I share for that video of Fayetteville State University and extracurriculars for the club. So, hope you guys understand that getting good grades doesn't guarantee you to get to top schools. Hope you guys keep that mind like always. Remember that improving your grades is more important than having good grades. Remember that if you guys have bad grades, please don't get discouraged because... Remember that improving your grades is more important than having good grades. Remember that to keep that mind like always when you get to community college. So when you get to community college, remember that although you guys don't get into all the top schools, remember that just be kind to yourself. Although you guys get rejected, just pre just throw the applications away and pretend that you didn't play. That's all you got to do for always. Remember that grades are not everything. They're important, but they're not the most important. Remember that the experiences and skills is more important than having higher grades. Remember that to keep that mind like always when we get this step. So remember that I only focus on skills and experiences more than grades. Remember that to keep that mind. So I have good grades from current college because I started to take seriously my assignments during, during the pandemic and endemic. Remember that to keep that mind like always. Remember that. Always remember that grades honor everything. They're important, but they're not the most important. Remember that getting good grades from Korean college doesn't guarantee you to get to top schools. Remember that to keep that mind like always. Remember that if you guys don't have good grades, remember that you guys can still have time to improve your grades in order to get to top schools. Remember that to keep that mind. Remember that. As I said before for the other video for Jonas and Major UCF, remember that you need to have competitive grades in order to get accepted for your major. So if you guys don't get an A in English 110 or 120, you guys are gonna have to Take the running course 300 to 400 levels to pass with the B or better, or you can get your program proficiency for placement tests. If not, you guys cannot have that major. Remember that to keep that in mind when you go to the steps. So, I'm taking a writing course now, so I'm taking business and professional writing course, so I'm working in to pass with the B or better. Remember that if you don't have those grades from UCF as a major, no matter what university you guys go to, you guys cannot have that major because. Jordan's a major from UCF is a competitive major. Remember that to keep that in mind when we go to this episode. So if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. And then you guys, if you want to see other videos. And if you guys enjoyed this video, just give yourself a thumbs up. And if you guys subscribe and want to be friends, just subscribe to the channel so you guys can get notifications. And if you guys want to be friends on the social media, just follow me on social media Instagram so you guys can get 
notifications as well. And also, you guys can DM me on Instagram to ask questions to them you guys you want to see in the videos. So remember that. Do not stress too much about your race because it's not worth it. Remember that to focus on your experience and skills because it's the most important in life. Remember that. Although you guys don't get into journalism major UCF, remember that do not stress yourself out because life is short. Remember that do not forget to have fun in college because that's the most important thing in life. Remember that have fun in college, meet new friends, meet new people, explore the events so you guys can get that stress out of the way. Remember that do not stress too much about rejection from UCF or journalism major or other universities because life is short. Remember that. Guys, enjoy the fullest. Enjoy your enjoy your day. Just have fun. Enjoy college. That's the only thing I'm biased gonna give you. So remember that. As I said before, I really am sorry for skipping the honors and awards and for my professional jobs because it's not what I was expecting. Again, my apologies for making mistakes so remember that don't make the same mistakes as i did and thankfully i made it to the honors awards and professional jobs so remember that keep that in mind when you go to the steps so if you guys have any questions just comment down room below and if you guys want to subscribe just subscribe to our video so you can guys can get notifications so hope you guys enjoy the t the the stats and of how we get to VOC university and for the clubs as well. So remember that. Let me tell you this again. So I graduated from Williamson College in May 2023, and it took me six years to get my associate's degree. And I graduated last year in the spring. And I'm so proud that I was a college graduate from Williamson College. And I feel excited that my coming college years is over with. Yay. So now I'm studying Fayetteville State University as a major in communication media studies and it is basically about journalism major so i was going to study mass communication from Fayetteville state but they only have media studies it's not what i wanted but i had to pick that up because it's basically about journalism so i'm going to be in Fayetteville state university for two years and then i'm going to be going to be getting my degree then i'm going to be getting my degree in, in a different state so remember that i'm not going to tell you where i'm going to be moving yet until the year comes so remember that to keep that in mind so for my next video is that i'm going to be talking about what i have for my 26th birthday so remember that stay tuned for that so sorry i couldn't post that because i was this i was decided to be posting something else so again sorry about that so next time i'll be posting about what i have for my birthday so i promise that so remember that stay tuned for the video so if you guys have any questions just just let me know in the comments below so you guys can let me know that you can see other videos as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So hope you guys see you in the next video. Peace out. Remember that don't stress out too much about your grades. So see you in the next video. Peace out.